Hi, this is Massimo and in this video I'm gonna talk about inputs and outputs. If you discover the QLC Plus project, you probably want to have some fun with your favorite lights. So the very first basic step to take in QLC Plus is to set up some inputs and outputs. So let's go ahead by clicking on the input output uh, context button and you can access this screen where on the left side there are inputs and on the right side there are outputs. So if I click on the very first line which represents the audio system, the, the, the left side represents the detected uh, input audio devices and the right side are the detected output audio devices. Um, the fun part though uh, comes when I click start to click on universes. QSC Plus offers unlimited number of universes and they can be added with the plus button here. You cannot remove uh, intermediate universe for technical reasons, so you can always add and remove from the bottom. Um, universes, again, um, they can have inputs and outputs. So on the left side of the screen, I have all the detected inputs and on the right side, I have all the detected outputs. In QLC Plus, plugins are of three types, basically. Uh, the first one is USB devices like DMX adapters or, uh, for example, uh, joystick or, um, for example, MIDI devices. And then there are uh, basically network interfaces with network protocols. The supported protocols are ArtNet, for example, and E131, also known as uh, Streaming ACN or SACN. And then the third category is uh, special virtual devices, uh, which is represented by the loopback plugin, and we'll talk about it later. Another network uh, protocol supported is OSC and also we have um, um, as input only we have OS2L which is basically a plugin dedicated to the receiving input from virtual DJ the virtual DJ software so um, once I have um, the ideas clear of what I want to do with universes uh, to enable one output plugin, I just need to take it from the side panel and drag it to the universes, to the universe I want to uh, connect to it. So in this, with this action, I have basically activated the device and, and I can actually see the LED on the device blinking. So it means QC Plus is already transmitting data to the plugin so the device is actually transmitting data on the XLR line. Uh, in the same way, if I select another universe, I can, uh, for example, uh, output ArtNet. Um, and also I can inspect what the plugin is doing or uh, set up the plugin or configure the, the parameters by clicking on the configuration button like this. For example, the DMX USB uh, show me uh, the map of detected devices and the protocol it's using to transmit data. Um, also, it is possible to adjust the output frequency in case of uh, some uh, DMX lines have particular needs, but we'll see it later, probably in another video. Uh, for network plugins, instead, there are other parameters. Um, where I can select, for example, for ArtNet, I can fix a, a universe. I, I can configure a universe to transmit to, to be written into output packets. So, for example, even if I'm on universe 2, I can uh, transmit universe 10 in packets, for example. So, the uh, attached universe is basically irrelevant in this case. And then I have a little uh, debug screen where I can see uh, the detected devices. In this case, I have a DMX King uh, node, 
which is detected as ArtNet node, but also I have it here as a USB device because it's also connected uh, on a USB port. As you can see, there are only output 2, 3 and 4 for this device for the simple reason that the first in the first port is configured as input and is therefore in this uh, um, on this side of the screen. Um, the same thing I can do uh, for um, output. I can do it for inputs. So for example, if I drag my joystick to uh, universe uh, one, uh, I have it connected as input. If I move some uh, buttons, if I press some buttons on the joystick, you can see a uh, LED indicator blinking. This means that the communication is actually working and the device is tra transmitting data. The input device is actually working correctly and transmitting data. If I want to remove a device from the, the patching of the universe patching, I just take it and drag it to the trash bin like this. And, and it disappears. The same thing I can do it for for outputs. Um, one other uh, interesting thing is that if I have a MIDI device, for example, I can drag it um, to a universe like this. And uh, input devices uh, can also be um, paired, let's say, with input profiles, so-called input profiles. As you can see, most of the profiles are MIDI type of, device, of profiles. Um, I have a profile dedicated to this APC Mini MK2. So if I drag the profile on the input line, it will be attached to the, to the device. This means that when I uh, press a button from the device. Now I'm pressing uh, some buttons. I'm moving some faders. The indicator shows the device is working correctly and transmitting data. And when I will go to associate an input signal to uh, QSC plus, for example, a virtual console item, I will have um, um, the input profile uh, will tell me exactly which button I am pressing or which uh, fader I am moving. The input profile is basically a translator of uh, um, unrecognizable input signal into something human readable, so uh, recognizable by uh, easily on the on the device itself. The one news, if you are coming from version four. One big news of version 5 is that I can have, I can do this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to show you, for example, I take SACN. I can do something like this. And basically, I have configured multiple outputs for a single universe. So in this case, uh, this universe is transmitting on my DMX USB open uh, device, but also is streaming uh, SACN on this IP address using this uh, network interface. In this way you can have exactly the same data transmitted on different devices or, uh, or um, interfaces. Um, for example if you're using an external visualizer or whatsoever your needs. Um, while uh, outputs are relevant uh, uh, again against universes Inputs are not, so for example, if I want to attach an input device, this can be an, on Universe 2, but um, it can easily work uh, in the same exact way on, uh, on Universe 3, for example. So input devices are unrelated uh, from the universe where they are attached. So um, if you have fixtures on Universe 1, you don't necessarily need to attach uh, an input device on universe one. So it can be attached on any other universe. This has been discussed many times on the forums. So it's just uh, I wanted to to clarify it here. One quick word about um, loopback plugin. Uh, the usage will be probably treated in another video, but basically a loopback device is something that if I um, attached to Universe 2, 
all the data sent to the loopback one can be uh, can be forwarded as input on another universe so for example loopback one i have it here also as input so if i place it here what i transmit on uh, universe 2 will come as input on universe 4 this has a number of usage usages uh, it's an advanced topic so it will be treated in a separated video because it's um, too complicated to explain now one other useful feature of this screen is the possibility to black out all the output patches at once or uh, freeze the transmitting data for uh, a single um, patch like this so when in this state uh, QSC is basically uh, repeating always the same data on these devices on these interfaces uh, even if the data in the universe is actually changing so this allows you to work on your uh, uh, light show while preserving what is actually uh, on the stage in that precise moment when you are done you can unlock the the transmission basically resume the transmission and the dmx data is again transmitted live while you're changing uh, uh, within qsc plus so for this video it is basically it thanks for watching ciao